Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and our first guest that we have with us, we have Dr. Mu'ayyad Hassan. And Dr. Mu'ayyad is an assistant professor of uh, history of art at the College of Basic Education. Uh, Dr. Mu'ayyad, welcome to our program, Hala Kuwait. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Nice to have you with us uh, right here in the studio. And Dr. Mu'ayyad, uh, you have a PhD in the history of art. Uh, so tell us more about this field and uh, what's it about uh, the history of art, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing, is, w w the thing is with the history of art is that uh, the people, when they hear the, the word history, they feel like it might, it might be boring or something that is, you know, the way we worked out history before. But uh, ever, since, ever since I started uh, studying the, the subject, uh, when I first went to, uh, to the UK to study it, when I was opening my bank account, the accountant was asking, asking me, uh, what's your field? I told, him, I told him history of art. He immediately said to me, oh, that's very, very interesting. I just read uh, Dan Brown's, uh, Dan Brown, uh, was the, 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 uh, Da Vinci Code. It was just released by, by the time. He thought that this is a very interesting subject. And I studied the subject, I studied the subject itself. I found it really is very uh, interesting and it is very important. Uh, to study the field. It gives so us tell us what is this field? What's it about, doctor? Uh, generally, uh, the way I teach it in college, we teach uh, gen uh, general history of art from the ancient art, uh, then you know the civilizations, the uh, Renaissance, modern and contemporary art. And basically what we learn from uh, the history of art is that uh, we learn how people think, how people live thro throughout history which is something that you don't learn from like traditional history books. So it gives us like different perspective about life. Excellent. So how do you uh, see the art scene here in Kuwait, doctor? Uh, you know, we seem to have a lot of different exhibitions and artists and so forth. Mm -hmm. So how is it in your opinion? Yeah, I've been monitoring the, the art scene since the last five years, yeah. let's say. And it is very dynamic, very changing, especially in the last few years. And uh, it seems that like seems like we have like two different art scenes. One that is the traditional, the old-fashioned art, uh, art uh, uh, artists that are working in, especially in the, for, in the formal establishment, and also we have the the younger, more more contemporary artists that that are working, which I find even more interesting. Uh, and I'm hoping that we get even better in this. Yeah, we way. have a lot of art galleries here in the state of Kuwait. Yeah, especially. Uh, Lately, more galleries and more uh, working space are opening, and uh, I think we are getting to, you know, very high standards in the field of art. Okay, is it important to have uh, educational establishments that uh, teach all kinds of art and cultural studies? And if yes, why? Yeah, of course, it is very important. Uh, most of our artists are either self-taught or they, you know, they participate in workshops or. Uh, general lectures, but uh, we need academic uh, art establishment uh, that teaches not just the technical stuff, also the theoretical stuff uh, about art and art history, art criticism. Uh, this, is, uh, this is something I'm trying to do through books, through uh, talks, through uh, workshops that I'm uh, tr trying to present, uh, but that is not enough. I think we need more academic establishment at the moment. And uh, now tell us about books. Uh, you're the author of different books which are related to uh, art. And the last one uh, is Technical Criticism. Uh, uh, tell us about these books and what you've worked on, Doctor, for our audience watching. Yeah, uh, I made uh, three books. Uh, the first one was called Mawara uh, al Fan or Behind Art. All my books are in Arabic right now. Uh, the, the first one, uh, Behind Art, talks about uh, the idea behind art, that is not just the, the visual part, but also the idea behind it. the theories, the history, the criticism, uh, criticism of art itself. Uh, the second one is general, talks in Kuwaiti culture in general. Uh, it has, uh, it's called the Sura Kabir or the big picture. The last one, that one, the one that you mentioned, is the introduction to uh, art criticism, mm -hmm. which is uh, more of an ac academic book. Uh, right now, it's not officially released. It's, uh, it's mostly just sold for the students of the, of the subject that I teach, which is uh, art criticism. Uh, it gives the basics of, of art criticism uh, for the students. 
Dr. Moyed, how did you get involved in this field? Are you, uh, when you were younger, are you an artist? Do you like uh, doing art, viewing art? Tell us about it. Yeah, of course. Uh, all of us loved art when we were, when yeah. we, when we were younger. Uh, but as, as I grew older, I, was, I became more interested in like, uh, computer graphics, animations, and design. Uh, I joined the College of Basic Education, which right now I'm teaching in. Uh, I became an art teacher. Uh, and then I got the opportunity to you know, further uh, your studies. Yeah, further studies. So I just specialized in uh, art history, and I'm very happy about that. Well, that's great to hear yeah. that, uh, Doctor. And, uh, how did, let's say, art and money, and so how did that go together, Doctor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, art and money. I talked and thought about this subject a lot. <laughs> Tell us about it. Yeah, because uh, many people had this idea of the artist as being somebody who should burn and suffer in order to produce art. Yeah. They read about uh, Vincent van Gogh, for example, who was very poor, and, I, and, they, and they think this is... This is the the struggling artist. Yeah, the, the romanticized uh, idea of yes. the struggling artist, which is not true, actually. Uh, in, pr in practice, especially in this time uh, or in this age, uh, the artists should, uh, should be supported, should have money, uh, and uh, in, order, in order first to, to produce the art itself, which is something very expensive to do, uh, and also to market himself, uh, to present his, world, his art to the world, not just locally, but for around the world, which needs lots and lots of money, uh, which means he needs support from governments, from uh, establishments, uh, which is something we're kind of lacking uh, in this country, or mm. in the Arab world uh, in general. Uh, doctor, I know you're also interested in photography, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that and uh, how you got involved in that. Yeah, uh, I use photography and uh -huh. also, I also do films or short films. Uh, I use it as a way to express uh, my ideas or my feelings. Uh, many people, when, when, they, when, they think that, when, when they hear that I am uh, an art historian or somebody who's talk, uh, who, who teaches history or criticism, they always think, uh, do, you, do you draw? Do you paint? I don't paint a lot, but my field is photography. I think it is... Uh, and what do you like taking photos of? We're taking a look at some of your photos right there. What is this here? Yeah, I do street uh, photography. I do uh, also some abstract work, uh, conceptual uh, work as well. Uh, I had an exhibition uh, accompanying my, uh, my, my book, uh, The Sora Kabir, or The Big Picture, mm -hmm. uh, which has conceptual art. Uh, conceptual art means that work that has, has an idea behind it. Uh, presents a social or political or uh, some kind of I idea, not just a visual thing to look at. So this is the kind of uh, art I am, I'm trying to... Yeah, it's really nice to do these uh, photography and so forth. Do you have a special camera that you use, Doctor? Uh, I used many kinds of, of uh, cameras. Uh, I, like my, I love my film cam. This camera. is a beautiful one right there. Yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, this one with a with digital camera, but also I love my, my, my film camera. Okay. I develop my own film and... Ah, you like to do that also. I scan it and put it... Uh, nice. It, it gives a very nice result at the end. I'm sure, yeah, that's yeah. a good way to do this and take photos all around the world of your different travels and everything? Yeah, of course. Everywhere I go, the camera is with me. <laughs> okay, that's really nice to hear. And, and how do you feel... That is, now. I mean, most people now use digital cameras. They don't really use the old ones, do they? Where they develop and that, unless you're really into it. Yeah, it actually, it doesn't matter what camera. Because digital, you can just snap, snap, and just yeah, take a million pictures. Yeah, right now, most of my pictures I take with my, with my phone. So it doesn't matter what camera that you use. It's, it's what matters is your vision and how you compose the picture, how, to, how, how you portray the idea behind the, the picture that you, are, uh, that you are taking. This is what matters the most. Uh, Dr. Moyed, any uh, events or things you'd like to share with our audience watching right now? Uh, Future plans, events? Yeah, first, I'm soon, inshallah, I will publish my, officially publish my, my last book, my latest book, which is the Arts Criticism uh, book. Uh, also, I'm, I'll be, ha I'll be uh, giving a workshop about visual analysis uh, in English for the first time. Where will this be? It will be in Cap Kuwait, Kuwait nice. Contemporary Art. Yeah. Uh, most of the workshops, or all of the workshops that I gave before, were in Arabic, but this one will be in English, in English and 
I'm happy to announce this here in this in this program. And people can. When will this be? Uh, by March, I think. By okay. the end of March. They can just follow the CAP website, I think. Yeah, yeah? follow CAP. Uh, Instagram or whichever Instagram. social media. Or you can follow my, my Instagram and they can okay. get my. Uh, All right, and your Instagram, just your your name, they can find you? It's Mu'ayyadcom. M O A Y A D C O M. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to hear, Doctor. And uh, at the end of our interview this evening, any last words for the audience watching Hello Kuwait? Uh, first of all, I'm happy to, to be here. And I hope that here in Kuwait TV too, that we see more, prog more programs about art, uh, uh, about art history, about the events, uh, the art events that, that are happening, uh, KTV2 or in, in Kuwait TV in general. Well, it's we a pleasure to, to have you. And wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. We're speaking to Dr. Uh, Mu'ayyad Hassan, uh, Assistant Professor of History of Art at the College of uh, Basic Education, wishing him all the best of luck. Right now we're going to move on to another one of our great reports. It's the Gulf Fine Art Exhibition. Let's take a look at this exhibition. Stay tuned.